Today, I want to share with us some thoughts about positioning. And I don't want you to be unmindful of the fact that when God begins to position you, there are certain challenges that will come with it. I don't want you to be ignorant of that fact. And because sometimes God's children find themselves in situations where God promotes them. But then the challenges that come with that promotion, they cannot handle. So they begin to tell themselves, ah, is this a blessing or a curse? Sometimes they don't know. And some give up. They've gotten the promotion. But when the challenge comes, they give up at the point of challenge. And they lose their blessing. Praise God. There is no way the Spirit of God is going to promote you or position you that everybody is going to like you. You've got to be prepared for that. Praise God. You've got to be prepared for that. Like someone said that if you, if you want everybody to always be happy with you, go into ice cream business. <laughs> Praise God. Just go sell ice cream. <laughs> Because everybody that comes there, you know, <laughs> praise God. Yeah, but if you want to really deal with serious issue, you have to be ready to hurt people, not deliberately. But you see, the mere fact that God is blessing you, there is somebody who's going to grind their teeth. You understand what I'm saying? Some, not even because they hated you before. But just by that blessing, you might be taking their space or the space of someone who they would have preferred to be there. So naturally, you become their enemy. Praise God. Now, if you don't know how to handle such situations, you will find yourself. Because sometimes we're praying, God bless me, God bless me. And you're not seeing results. Not because God is not hearing your prayer, but because truly you are not prepared to deal with the issues that come with that blessing. I had a sad story. Yeah, in this place, someone that came to work here, he had to leave the job and run, run home. What has happened? His neighbor just bought a new car. And he brought the car home. Everybody was rejoicing about the new car. And then for some reason, uh, they slept that night. And we're in the middle of the night, the following day, two of his children went into the car that night, locked the door of the car, and they suffocated. I mean, you just brought a car home. And that same car kills your children. Praise God. Now, you begin to wonder. You know, someone say, ah, that car is a cost car. <laughs> you know, that car is a cost car. But the truth about it is, he got to a new level without understanding how to operate in that new level. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the innocent children are happy. Now, he didn't know that you've got to lock your car door. You, you get what I'm saying? I wonder how they didn't check. Okay, you, I mean, you want to sleep in it. How come you, you went to bed without knowing where your children are? How come? And the little children, still excited about daddy's car, opened the door, it opened, and they entered and shut the door, and then the door shut. And they're busy playing in that place. You know, you play for a while, until, because air is, no, air is not coming in. And then until the whole oxygen inside the car finishes. And now you begin to struggle, like, okay, what do I do next? And nobody's there to hear. Maybe they cried. Maybe they, they shouted. But nobody could hear. Praise God. So, so, when you're thinking of a new level, it's not just something to be excited about. It's also something to deeply reflect on the workings on that new level. 